Hi, this is Matt from tracingamap.co.uk and I'm back to show you another device. This time it's the Orange uh, SPV E600. This device is actually based on the HTC Excalibur um, and is exactly the same as the HTC S620, uh, the um, HTC branded version of this uh, device. Um, so a quick look at what's in the box. Um, this is a case pouch type thing which you do not get with the HTC version of this device that's quite interesting um, bag of bits and pieces including the companion CD which I assume will contain um, Microsoft Outlook and ActiveSync yes it does actually it says it contains a trial version of Outlook 2007 that's uh, something we'll have a look at later on user manual it's actually a white user manual, a generic, uh, which is very often the case with Orange, uh, and a quick getting started guide from, from Orange there. So we'll put them to one side, look at what else we have in the box. We have the uh, familiar, now familiar, um, headset with its enhanced mini USB connector, standard uh, mini USB to USB sync and charge cable. Uh, standard um, USB charge adapter battery which is 960 milliamps that doesn't seem an awful lot and also included with the orange device is a 128 meg micro SD card um, there's no memory card included with the HTC X S620, so it'll be interesting to see what's on that card, if anything, later on. Um, so here's the actual device itself. Um, just peel this protective film off. Exactly the same in appearance um, as the uh, S620, um, with the cover over the bottom, which I can't do. This is actually quite annoying, and I know a lot of people just pull this off this cover off because um, it gets in the way every time you want to uh, sync or charge the device. Um, I'll just put the battery in at the moment and uh, while that's charging up I'll just show you where the SIM card slots in here up through there and the uh, micro SD in the side here. I'm just going to put the battery in and while it's booting up let's have a Close look at the device. I'll just turn it on. Um, keyboard's quite nice, but what I did find using the S620 is that the keys are rather close together, and um, with the size of my fingers, I tended to uh, press the key next to the one I wanted all the time, which uh, obviously is not good. Um, power button's on the side. There's a 1.3 megapixel camera on the back. Actually, the camera's pretty good on this device, um, even though it's a low, fairly low pixel megapixels. Um, the quality is pretty good. Um, there's this jogger on the side, um, which acts as a scroll. Um, but most people end up turning this off pretty much straight away, um, as it works as a volume control in calls. Um, so when you're holding the device to your ear, your ear tends to affect the volume of the call um, or open um, your email application, which uh, is not great. Um, so yeah, most people tend to turn that off straight away. So I showed you before, on the bottom you've got your headphone, um, socket and your sync and charge socket. Um, that's the device. Let's just show you a quick comparison size-wise with a few others. That's the M700 on the right there. A um, little bit longer. Maybe fractionally wider there. Obviously much thinner. Quite a lot lighter. Um, and let's do a quick comparison with the Samsung. Yeah, Samsung being my favourite device at the moment and the one I'm using uh, day to day um, not a great deal of difference in size Samsung possibly slightly narrower there 
Um, I think really to choose between the two in terms of uh, actual thickness. Um, weight wise the Samsung is slightly lighter. Um, I do prefer the Samsung keys. They're slightly better spaced out and uh, you can really see that there but the Samsung's keys are more raised which makes it a little bit easier to type with. Um, but you know, not a great deal to choose between two. I think it's down to personal preference. Um, however, obviously the Samsung is 3G and, and HSDPA, whereas the E600 is um, GPRS and.